Hey everyone, welcome back. Today, I actually just returned from picking up a box. Little box of danger. More stuff along this lines. All sorts of stuff. They're all in little tiny vials. They all came in this one box. But it was part of a group shipment, so I wasn't able to do you guys a full unboxing video. But some unboxing videos, they're not all that exciting. You guys want to see the actual animals. So what we're going to do today is we're actually going to go and set those guys up. There's a whole bunch of them. Let's get to it. Here's what we got. I'm not showing you any secrets yet, but there's three here all the same. This is a mature, there's not a mature male, but this is a confirmed male. This is a confirmed female. And I don't remember. <laughs> oh, I know what these are. These two are the same. So three, two, one, and one. But we've got some habitats all set up for them already. So we've got one that's set up. This one's going to mimic uh, one of the other habitats that we already have set up. So you guys might not know exactly which one that's going to be for. This is one that's set up for one that we already have. We just, it's such an awesome species. We wanted to get another one. These three smaller ones are for the three smaller vials. Uh, they're, they're a real fossorial species, old world fossorial. And then uh, these ones here, we're only going to need two of these ones here. These two here are for the, the other two medium-sized vials. We already have one of these, but we wanted to get a couple more. And then this one here, basically what we're going to be doing is we're going to be rehousing this Pierre Myrni and uh, putting her in there so it's a bit more consistent on the shelf. So we've got all our lids ready. We've got our RO water ready. We've got our brushes and our tweezers and our catch cups. Let's get to it. So the first one, as I mentioned... Yeah, I'm going to put spray water everywhere, Biggs. That'll really help. Uh, got our water all set up. This one here, as I mentioned, is one that we already have. We have a mature female. And trying to find males of this species has been a bit of a challenge. Not only just trying to find the males, but also to find, to find a male uh, that's mature and then having to ship it here. Anybody got any guesses? Anybody got any guesses? Bring it around the other side here. This is an old world species from an island off the coast of Yemen. I'll put a link to the video that we did for this species here for their enclosure. It's a very, very popular species worldwide. It's a beautiful species. Saw a leg coming out there. There we are. It is a beautiful little male Belfori. So we use the same substrate that we did on uh, on the unearthed enclosure. The next one, as I mentioned, we have one of these already. This is a beautiful species, comes from Venezuela. And this is just another one of the same. We already have one, but we bought it as a tiny, tiny juvenile. And now we got a second one. And this one is a confirmed female. They're going to be fairly dirty, so we want to be very cautious and slow. But here she is. Now that enclosure is way too big for her, but we'll set her up in that temporarily for now. And it came in such a large container, I kind of uh, changed my plan, changed gears midway. But let's go take a closer peek at her. See your little things? We can. Look at that beautiful little flash. What a truly wonderful species. Come on. Now, in the next group, as I mentioned, I have three of the same one. This is one that I have already, and you've seen her, and she's absolutely, absolutely a stunner. And it came from that incredible breeder in Canada, Mrs. Ann Mack. And I was wearing her shirt at the beginning. This is a species, an old world species. They're not going to look like much at this size, but wow, do they ever get stunning as they get older. We'll put a video to her, to that one up when, uh, up in the corner there, and you'll see what they turn into, because the one I have is a full-grown beautiful adult female and this is Kiliobrachis species electric blue 
So I have three new ones, three more of these. Come on, get all into your cage so I can take your Kleenex. There you go. I'm just gonna let them settle in. I've already put water in their dishes. All my cages are set up the same way using that same uh, kind of my proprietary kind of mix that I make up. I use it for all my isopods, my vivariums and stuff, very moisture retentive, but very, very well drained. Another absolute beauty. Not really showing any of their characteristic colors yet, but we know full what, what beauties these ones are going to turn into. Brackies, species electric blue. Oh, they're going to be stunners. Now, the group order was made possible uh, by Tarantula Canada, who I've ordered from several times in the past. But Martin and Amanda put out a kind of a Christmas special. We just had to wait for a bit warmer weather. That's a thing to say here in Canada. But we had to wait for some weather that was a bit more conducive for shipping. And I've ordered from them directly myself. I've just never participated in a group order before. But uh, the group order was awesome. Combined shipping that shipped to one of my local stores. And all in all, it was easy to pick up. Very, very, I recommend doing group orders with anybody if you ever get the opportunity. So before we do the last one, the one thing I wanted to do is I wanted to take the... the Salma Puyas Ermini, the Venezuelan sun tiger, she's right here, out of this container and put her into one of the ones that's a bit more conducive. So we can actually see and appreciate it a little bit better. It's no real difference in size. It's a little bit taller. It's not much different in regards to size. But uh, this one's already been in here for a while, so I'm not sure how easy this is going to be. Oh, I think it'll be fine. Oh, here she comes. and into the new enclosure and right down to the bottom already now this is a, as i mentioned is a true arboreal species but the mine as you saw in the old one when they're younger they tend to dig a lot so giving them the opportunity so they got nice deep substrate i've got a very well fixed piece of bark that goes down deep into the substrate and it'll give her the opportunity to find the perfect spot and the last two, again, a species that really goes, does not need an introduction. It's such a, it's such a beautiful, outstanding species, so much desired by so many. And it is a species from India. And it is Ciliothera metallica, the Goody Sapphire. It's gone right down under a little piece of moss that's there at the bottom. And as a normal for me, I'm just going to leave it be. Get these guys on their shelf. Well, everybody's all tucked away. Everybody, every single rehousing went nice and easy and smooth. It's a good way to be. 
I got this little guy here I never shown anybody because I only just found him a couple of days ago. But I've got a tiny little spider. I don't know what it is yet. I haven't really spent that much time. I've got to get my loop out and take a peek at it. But I housed it in here. It's got the body shape of a black widow, kind of like on my Anne Mac shirt. It's not a, not a black widow. It might be one of my native orb weaver types or something like that. Don't really know. But I found it on the, in a little web underneath one of my stands in the fish room. So it kind of come in from outside. Could have come in from one of the plants. Don't really know. But that's pretty exciting. Free spider day. <laughs> so, hope you guys enjoyed that. I had fun with it. We'll see you next time. Take care.